to mm -hmm. send a message to the people. Mm -hmm. Or a messenger that delivers a message to the next city. Uh -huh. Or someone that's handpicked to do the work or job. Yeah. Uh -huh. But Jesus was sent by his heavenly father to do the will of the work. Yeah. Well, the Lord. That's right. But, but the Lord knew he can choose a man to do the work of the Lord. Like he chose Moses to deliver the people to the promised land now the hands of bondage. But Jesus was chosen to do the will of the Lord. Yes, it is possible for a man to deliver the truth and the law of the people. But it's not possible for a man to take away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. But it is possible for a son of God in form of a man mm -hmm. to take away sin, die for sin, mm -hmm. that we might live another day and now we can face tomorrow mm -hmm. because he lives. Mm -hmm. And because the reason that he lives, that's why the church is alive. Mm -hmm. And why the church is in high spirits. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. in this gathering today, mm -hmm. we know that this church is, a, a, is alive because Christ is the head of the church yes. and we are his bride. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now, God sent his own, only son, but it wasn't for his own pleasure. He was sent to do the will of the Lord and, great, grace and by the grace and truth. He was appointed to do by the grace of God, which was to be, which he will be born, but not for the will of man, but for the will of God. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. For we all know that the law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He was appointed to red, red sin from the world, but I don't like to think of it as God was going to tell him. Jesus, every single thing that he was going to go through, Jesus knew what he was going to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus had 12 faithful disciples unto him at the time. When he came across Peter and Andrew, he, they were fishermen at the time, he said unto them, Follow me, because I will make you fishers of men. They dropped their nets, and they followed him. James and John join also as Jesus went into Galilee, Galilee, teaching the synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all that matter of the disease amongst the people. And it came to pass where Jesus stopped. Scriptures say he ended his teaching. And the people were amazed in what they learned. He taught them to have authority but not as scribes. Jesus yeah. was revealing the truth. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when Jesus traveled down to Samaria. He went out of his long journey and came to, and he came to a well, Jacob's well. Mm -hmm. And a woman of Samaria came, came to the well and Jesus said, give me a drink. Now the woman didn't understand at the time because Jews did not do dealing with the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. But and at the same time, the woman didn't have anything to draw water with. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, Whosoever drink of this water shall never thirst again. Mm -hmm. For also in him a well of water springing up of it everlasting life. I noticed that when you drink water, you feel refreshed. You feel like going long distance. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, you're going to want another glass of water because your mouth grows dry. You're going to want another glass of water. But once you take the water from the hands of the, our Lord, you won't be going back, back for another drink. Yeah. Because what he offers is eternal life. Amen. Life to live. Mm -hmm. And to continue on this topic of eternal life, a good example is the bread of life. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the bread of life. Amen. As well as the well of it that springs life, springs of eternal life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. And the bread of life and Jesus have a connection. 
mm -hmm. produced a better life. Mm -hmm. And he that taketh from the hand of Jesus shall not hunger. But what is the difference between the bread we eat today and the, the bread we eat that Jesus had to offer and what the manna had to offer that Moses had to offer in the desert? There was not the bread of life. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. And just like today, when you run out of food, there's any, there's nothing to eat in a couple months, years, you will die. Mm hmm. But take bread from the hands of Jesus, you will never go hungry. Why? Because what he has to offer is eternal life. Amen. But I don't like to think of it as like. I gotta get something to eat. It's a spiritual hunger. Yes. Of spiritual growth that helps you to grow stronger in your understanding. Hope to live. I want to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Jesus said, We shall know him. Well, that is a good question. How shall we know him? He said to do a man, do a man, Nicodemus was his name. Mm -hmm. And you shall not see the kingdom unless you are born again. And he, that, and he shall that believeth in Christ shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. But first, you shall must be born again mm -hmm. in order to enter. Mm -hmm. Once you're born again, you'll have a new pair of eyes and a good mind. Yeah, that's right. Amen. 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 <laughs> Kind of reminds me of the old man. They cried out to Jesus, Jesus, thou son of David. He wanted to see Jesus. That's right. I don't like to think of it as he wanted uh, his sight back, which was true, but he wanted to see Jesus. But he was blind, so he thought, if Jesus restored my health, maybe I can see him. Yeah. And yeah, once yeah. he restored his sight, he saw not just a man, but he yeah. saw a man doing the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And besides the old man, he healed others as well. The sick, the blind, the ones that could, couldn't walk. Jesus healed because he didn't want to see his people suffer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Lord, God Almighty, is a God of mercy. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus saw God's people suffering from him. And he knew he didn't want the Lord's people suffering. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is merciful too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And by, by the will of God, he made the, the sick well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when they were healed, they didn't go over their own presence and pleasure. They rejoiced, gave thanks to God. Yes. Amen. I understand a miracle today, in a matter of days, it's, so, it's like, so what? But a miracle from Jesus Christ is not something to be overlooked. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's what these people saw in Jesus. Mm -hmm. They didn't see just a man. They saw a holy man mm -hmm. doing the work yeah. in God, revealing His true mercy by the yes. truth and wisdom, through the miracle, we can see many things. We can see that our Lord is a God of mercy. Mm -hmm. And Jesus feeds his people too. Another a good example is the feeding of a thousand, five thousand. Once the food was blessed, everybody can eat. I understand there was a couple of loaves of bread and a couple of loaves of fish. In the hands of an ordinary man, they would never be fed. Right. Mm -hmm. But in the hands of Jesus, and he was blessed and prayed over, you can amaze what can happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. A blessing of Jesus in a, in a prayer is an amazing thing. Amen. He not only blessed and prayed over the people, he fed them at the same time with words and with wisdom of the Lord. Defend them with words of life Amen. and spiritual hunger. 
given their minds to grow and with hope to live mm -hmm. an eternal life. Amen. And it helps you feed on the right things. Amen. And mm -hmm. if you feed on the things that bring you down, you're not feeding yourself at all because your mind is full of doubt. Well, guess what? You're you're not accomplishing nothing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but with the words of wisdom, it's different. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Because you don't only build yourself up, you feed yourself at the same time. Uh huh. Yeah. And the more you get fed, the more you want because the spiritual growth from the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And Jesus was faithful in all his duty. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Even the word faithful means being reliable, trustworthy, can be trusted to do whatever one was told to do. Mm -hmm. He was faithful, Amen. was what he was said to do. Mm -hmm. He was mm -hmm. a faithful apostle. Mm -hmm. what that was sent to do to represent the Lord mm -hmm. and, and to do the grace by the grace of his heavenly father. Mm -hmm. He was reliable to speak of someone that always uh, he, he was reliable to speak on someone that was on time, uh -huh. always delivers, a perfect worker. Mm -hmm. You can't say that about anybody on the job. you got to earn it. Jesus was that perfect man. Yeah. yeah. Scriptures say in Hebrews 10 9, he was faithful in what he was sent to do. Amen. Do Amen. God's will. Yeah. That's right. Also, it says in Revelation 5 1 5 3 14, he was a faithful witness. Amen. He's always telling them, mm -hmm. telling us what we need to know. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus yeah. was faith, a faithful witness, he a faithful witness to the truth by God's will. And Jesus was faithful, was a faithful example before all mankind. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So we might live through him. Mm -hmm. And he, tr he was trusted to do the work of the Lord, and he was trusted to do the the work faithfully because the Lord trusted him to do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was trustworthy because he was trustworthy. Jesus was trusted to do what he was told to do. Mm -hmm. To represent the Lord and the Lord's will. Mm -hmm. Such as a faithful servant says, you can trust me to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm a man of my word. I can be trusted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus was that man of trust. Mm -hmm. A man of trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Trusted in the name of God. Mm -hmm. He was trusted in, in the will of, of God. And the will of God abides by the Father. Mm -hmm. Only trust Him, He will save you. Understand today you gotta earn some people's trust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But tr Jesus was that person you can trust. Yeah. Amen. And what comes with trust is obeying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Such as Jesus' promise of everlasting life. And what comes with obeying, you gotta obey by God's will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also comes with trustworthy comes honesty and truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Christ was honest in all of the, God's work. Mm -hmm. Honesty means truthful and fair. And Christ was honest in giving the truth to the people. I understand that people want today people today want to get, get what they want. Mm -hmm. Tell the people what they want. But Jesus Gave the people more than what they want. Mm -hmm. A miracle. That's what they needed. Mm -hmm. And he was appointed to the high priest, a faithful high priest. A high, faithful high priest doing the work of the Lord. High priest, the one God that provided to represent God to us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
and to give us what God was determined to, determined we need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doing what was necessary for God to bless bless us, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and for to come come to God, according to mm -hmm. Hebrews two seventeen, he was a faithful high priest. Yes. Yeah. Representing God, faithful to give us mercy, mercy by the will of the Father. Mm -hmm. To give us mercy, mm -hmm. to give us mercy and grace to yes. help us in, the need, in time of need. Mm -hmm. Faithful to give us, give, give us from, to, faithful to keep us from being tempted for more than what we are able to bear. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. When we're when you, when you live through Christ, you're able to avoid temptation mm -hmm. and being pure through the grace of God, mm -hmm. you'll be able to prevail over evil. Mm -hmm. And he represented God in all his work to save sinners so he, they might live through him mm -hmm. so that one day we can know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And the high priest is loyal to his people. And Jesus was loyal unto God and his people. Amen. Even loyal means give, giving and showing firm, constant support. Loyalty means a quality of being loyal to someone or something. Jesus was that faithful high priest. He was telling us what we needed to we needed to know mm -hmm. at the appointed time, mm -hmm. telling us what we need, need in order to be prepared. I understand today that a client need, has to have a lawyer to represent them in the case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Jesus did the work for us, and at the same time, we work, God worked for, through him. Mm -hmm. As he did the work, as, as he did the work, the Lord worked for through them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. They, and the others that looked at him, they didn't think that this was a man that mm -hmm. said that that said the same thing that that other man said. Mm -hmm. Even the accusers viewed him as a different man. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. A man of God doing the work of God gave his instructions, wisdoms, wisdom, guidance before man, and that one day when he comes, we'll be ready. Yes. Amen. Amen. When Jesus died, we were sanctified, knowing that one day that there that was a heavenly Father. He taught us to remember his coming when we were gathered in his own. The fourth mm -hmm. commandment, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Exodus 20 verse 8. And it teaches us to be obedient and mm -hmm. to be encouragers unto others. Build us up, build us up unto the faith. Mm -hmm. To be followers unto Christ. And to be speakers of the gospel, mm -hmm. telling the good news, mm -hmm. to be obedient like Christ as he was unto the Father. Mm -hmm. Jesus was obedient with his words, with his blessing and forgiveness, mm -hmm. obedient unto death. Mm -hmm. Amen. He died that we might live. Yes. He rose that we might remember him. Mm -hmm. So we, he died for us, so we. we we live through him. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Very good, brother. Amen. 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 Your comments? What? Amen. <laughs> okay, I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> brother Benjamin, I just want to say that was wonderful. Amen. Amen. And, uh, Amen. You know, this is. I want everybody to know that this is a, a relatively new thing, these longer type presentations from mm -hmm. Brother Benjamin, and I just thought that that was, uh, mm -hmm. was very well thought out and very deliberate.
spirit, and I like your straightforward presentation. Amen. And uh, mm -hmm. it was just a matter of fact sort of things, like mm -hmm. uh, you know, like he's, Jesus is the he's the only perfect man. And you think yeah. about now that seems like a simple mm -hmm. s saying, you know, and, but you think of or he's the only you said he's the only one you can trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now Jesus, when you think about it, of all the sons of men. Yes. Jesus is the only one you can trust. Amen. I mean, Amen. that you can trust fully. I mean, yes. you can, you, with no mm -hmm. variableness or shadow of yes. truth, you Amen. can trust him. See, there's no, there's right. no that he's going to be that way. And, and I appreciated, like, your, your, your uh, comments on the feeding of the 5,000, mm -hmm. like, actually feeding us. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, a, in, a, in a way, it's a shadow of him feeding us. Yes. Too. That, was, uh, that was good. That, just a lot of things that you had, Brother Benjamin, that were just... Excellent. I Amen. Just, Amen. It was just wonderful. Amen. Yeah, I appreciated your comment. You said a miracle of God is not to be overlooked. Yeah. You know, far too often in our day, somebody God will do something, and then someone will say, "Well, well, I took this medicine, and I and not that I don't despise medicine, but why was the medicine effective? Because God made it effective." Yeah. See, it's not to be overlooked. We've got to be careful to give God the glory Amen. for all these things, these all these benefits. And I really appreciated your word today, Amen. brother. Amen. 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 And even a, even a mighty working of God and a miracle is like Peter turning one from darkness to light. Yes. We don't, we Amen. Don't want to overlook that either. That's right. right. That what is what this this is the Lord's doing. This is what He's done. Mm -hmm. It's marvelous in our sight, but it's 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 a it's a working of God. Mm -hmm. that, that men could receive the forgiveness of sins. Yes. That they're turned from the power of Satan and of God. This is a miracle. Amen. 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 You're, you're talking about the faithfulness of God in the uh, as a apostle and the high priest. And sometimes men, when they think of being faithful, they think of just like when they're backed into a corner, they just... You know, say what they're supposed to say or do what they're supposed to do. But this is a different kind of a faithfulness that he exhibited. Mm -hmm. This was like a proactive faithfulness. When he he hit the he hit the earth running, as it were. Remember the one Psalm talks about. Uh, he he rejoiced as a strong man to run a race. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, this this wasn't something that he did as an obligation, or or just to get through it. See, this was something that Jesus rejoiced to do. So this yes. was a, this was a profound faithfulness. Amen. It encompassed everything that he did. Be faithful. No detail was left omitted. Everything was done in full strength and in yes. full honor to the Father. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Brother, I, I appreciate it again that, that uh, aspect of his trustworthiness that, mm -hmm. uh, that you made reference to there. Amen. Because Jesus, Amen. as our high priest, is the only one that could be trusted. Uh -huh. Trusted uh -huh. to represent the things of, of man to God and the things of God to man. Mm. That's why he was the mediator as well, as well as the high priest. Mm -hmm. In reference to this this context uh, in Hebrews, you know, when you think of the, the high, the, the Levitical priesthood, you had high priests that did offer sacrifices, mm -hmm. right? And they had to do so uh, in order to cleanse or sanctify the people. Mm -hmm. And he himself, that high priest, that earthly high priest, he had to offer up sacrifices for himself. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. so in that sense, that person, that 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 high priest, wasn't exactly a faithful witness, nor was he trustworthy. Mm -hmm. However, Christ Jesus, who had no sin <laughs> yeah. of himself, who was faithful, mm -hmm. he was able to, of course, represent us perfectly. Amen. God the Father. Amen. 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 Thank you for reminding us that blessing of Jesus, with the blessing of Jesus plus prayer, mm -hmm. amazing things are possible. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing for us to remember. Amen. 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 Uh, you're covering this Christ is trusted. I mean, it's one thing to say, like, we trust Jesus, and we do. He's demonstrated enough for us to have reason to do that, but to say, like, well, God trusts God trusts Jesus. God yeah. trusts him. Like we we'll say, okay, it's, we have good reason. Well, hey, God has got good reason to trust Jesus. So yes, amen. amen. To that I say, well, God trusts Jesus. Hmm. How much more are we? Yes. We'll amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. amen. God can put all power and authority into his hands. 
you mm -hmm. give your dad trust him to make the same decisions I make. Yeah. Even if mm -hmm. you're the same thing, he thinks like me. Mm -hmm. I should be pointing to my wife, shouldn't I? Uh, <laughs> he thinks like me, he acts like me, he smells like me, he does everything like me. I'm not afraid to kind of move over and just say, take over, Joseph. Mm -hmm. He's not afraid to do that at all. Mm -hmm. You know, if God's not afraid to do that, yeah. Why should I be afraid? Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Brother Benjamin, I appreciate how you, you've made a distinction in your message. Uh, certain things, only Jesus can do this. Yeah. And one that you made is He always delivers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't always deliver. Yeah. Uh, we're men, we're, we're mere men. But he always delivers, and I appreciate that. Amen. He's mm -hmm. a faithful witness, as you mentioned. Yeah. Amen. Uh, mm -hmm. It's wonderful to, to think about. Uh, he did God's work. Uh, wonderful mm -hmm. uh, to, to think about that. Just, I think we should be thankful that he was faithful. Amen. Because because of his faithfulness we can be part of, of the kingdom of God. And that's, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So thank you for the many things you've shared. Amen. 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 Brother, I like how you pointed out um, kind of Jesus' awareness in, in carrying out his purpose. Mm -hmm. Where he didn't just, he said something along the lines, he didn't just follow every detail that the Father gave him to do, but he knew what he was going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he, he, he was in accord with this purpose, and I just think about in the volume of the book it's written, I mean, I come to do thy will, yeah, of God. Amen. He was mm -hmm. purposeful, and he did it. It wasn't just, okay, what's the next step? Okay, yeah. I'll do that. And what's the next uh -huh. step? Okay, I'll do that. He knew ahead of time, and he was, he was right in accord with the Father. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Can you imagine Jesus getting on the cross and saying, now what? Yeah. 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 Not so. Amen. Yeah, I like that you, you joined um, Jesus' faithfulness and tied that with him being able to keep us from having any kind of temptation that would be too great for us to bear. You know, this is where the truth as it is in Christ is personalized to where you can learn to trust Jesus. Like, because whatever you're in, you know, it's a great comfort to know if, if this is a trial, if, if it can be verified that this is a trial, not something that I'm just walking into on my own. And I think you know what I mean there. But if, if, if this is a trial that God sent, that he, he knows I can bear. Now, see, now that's going to take faith. But if you see it like that, you'll bear up under it. And you'll Amen. glorify God in it. Amen. 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 I like the fact that you said that uh, he gives more. Mm. Uh, the... Uh, Israelites were promised the land of Canaan, but they actually got more. They got the land of Og and Sinai. Uh -huh. So God throws in extras too sometimes. <laughs> yes. You know? That's right. Amen. Well, thank you for your comments. Amen.